Hey guys, how you doing there? This is Joe, joined by Keaton as always, and uh, actually we've also got our friends along for the ride today as uh, Kevin and Tim join us, and this is actually the Alpha 9 of 7 Days to Die, and uh, we usually do these update videos of every kind of major alpha release of this game, we've pretty much been doing it since uh, day one, and uh, <laughs> no exception here as we jump to Alpha 9, and uh, yeah, I've got to say, upon first impressions, it looks totally different when you jump in, and uh, you're probably looking around and wondering where the hell we are, and this is actually random generation. The ninth iteration of the Alpha has actually included this, and uh, it's been a long time coming because the uh, the random generation was something they touted in the Kickstarter, uh, which I had back way back when, and uh, it's actually finally here. So uh, that's what we're here to check out, along with all the other major bug fixes and uh, features they've kind of put into this build. And yeah, I've got to say, man, it's looking pretty sweet. I mean, we've done a little bit of exploration, haven't we, guys? Kind of trying to meet up, and uh, it's definitely not Navis game. It's a completely different world, and. Uh, yeah, it even has got like a new coat of paint on it from what I can tell. Like graphically it even looks a bit different. A whole new world. Yeah, man, it's a uh, shining place we've never been. Yeah, it's really good to see, I've gotta say. It's uh, pretty sweet. And uh, we actually wanna name well, I think there's like a bunch of new locations in this, uh Right, Keaton, I mean, you checked out the change log, I think. This, uh, uh, yeah. The, so, we were lucky enough to f at least find one of the new buildings that will spawn in a uh, random generation, which is the parking lots. Yeah. Uh, not Stand much in it, actually. Uh, not a lot of cars. I guess, uh, you know, everyone decided to take their cars when the, uh, uh, the apocalypse happened. But, uh, yeah, yeah, so this is one of the new locations that you can find. In the random generation, um, there are a couple of others, but I'm not sure if we'll even be able to find them because of uh, RNG. But uh, the other ones include like a a, a movie theater, uh, what else? Apartments, and uh, what I got a list right here. Let's see. Yeah, I want to check out our movie theater, man. I wonder which biome that would actually show up in. I'm not. I'm pretty sure these are going to be biome specific, right? So even in random generation. Yeah, I'm. I'm assuming it would be in like a town or a city. Yeah, well, we're uh, in the city now, so maybe we're essentially yeah. nearby and we just don't realize it. Then again, we're in, like, a city that got, like, annihilated by some bombs or something. True. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what a theater would look like in the uh, post-apocalyptic world, but that's why I'm curious to find it. It'd be cool if it has, like, a marquee. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I believe they made some lighting adjustments as well uh, that I saw in the changelog. And, uh, I believe I'm actually seeing them now. I mean, the sun actually looks different, especially in this biome. It's kind of got this like red tinge to it. I don't recall it looking like that before. Those are your eyes burning out, Joe. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. That's the fucking hour it took us to find each other in this game. Which actually wasn't all that bad because uh, they've actually imp like, implemented a new tracking feature, which is pretty cool. So we could actually tra like, track each other's coordinates. Um, if I was yeah. just to click my menu here, I can like invite my friends. Uh, like Whoever's on the same map will kind of show up in this, uh, in this uh, right-hand side here. And... Um, where it says, like, Tim, you know, I've got Keaton and Kevin. I could, like, just go to Kevin if I wanted to and click track friend. And, uh, it looks like you can only track one at a time. And uh, once I've clicked that, the new feature on your hood right now is actually this little uh, compass below here. And, uh, yeah, it will actually show up. You see this like, little green arrow facing north? It's there, right next to me. So it's actually a good feature if you want to kind of, like, get together. It saves you kind of trying to figure it out. Because in random generation, obviously, you can't say... I'm in the snow biome because you you don't know where that is. Yeah, actually, there there's a lot of uh, new tweaks to the entire uh, I guess HUD system and yeah. menu system. Completely. They, they shifted they shifted the whole friend system over to the map system because there's no longer a uh, mini map, which is one of the major changes to the game uh, up until this point. You know, yeah, uh, you'd always be able to sort of get a sense of where you were based on the mini map. Now you're going to pretty much have to go into the map, you know, and uh, try to yeah. grasp where you are. And um, then what, what did they call it? Fog something where the kind of map yeah. shows where you So, been. yeah, um, both the Navis game map and the random generated maps now have a fog of war, uh, which if you're not fami familiar with are like uh, blank spots until you visit those areas, then you can yeah. see what was there. Um, so, yeah, you're going to have to actually explore now. You can't, you can't like... Like we mm -hmm. used to do uh, in in the past is when we would spawn into a world, we'd be like, okay, where are you on the map? Now we can't do that. <laughs> yeah. So it's so one drawback, but for, for mm -hmm. the most part, it seems like a more robust, I guess, or in an attempt at a more robust system. Uh, a lot but, more focused on... Uh, 
could just could objectives. this be the theater here? It's got like a little awning over it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I was thinking um, that. I don't know where you are. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, go yeah, to it's, the track. it's over friends. here. I'm, I'm gonna go here. to the. I'm going to go to the track friends menu, click on Joe and find him. God damn it, guys! Come on. Can give it a little a little pizzazz here, guys. Jeez. Well, Joe anyway, actually did that earlier. Well, I, I was. <laughs> he he explained it. Ooh. I was gonna use it in 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 use. It is. Anyway, there we are. Oh, nice. Wait this a minute. They have a new location. What is, what is this pixelated kind of screen? Look at this. I, 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 I don't pay ten dollars to look at pixel pixels. Oh, oh. someone just shot the screen out. You fuck. What material is that? <laughs> what is that? Center Plate center drive drywall. Oh. That's a bad what? movie. I had to. What you don't you don't like blank the movie? It was critically no. acclaimed, man. <laughs> it was way Stop too pretentious. It. I wonder if just like to get, oh, to get a nice look at this there's thing. More, there's actually more rooms. Yeah. This is like a multi multiplex theater. What the hell is this? They have a prison in the No, I'm guessing this is the ticket registry. I've gotta say, there's like a there's like a little side door here and you could easily sneak into this place. Just saying. Well this could have been a small town where, you know Yeah. People possibly. didn't really into too many shenanigans. Oh, they've actually fucking blocked this bit off. What is going on? Under construction? Yeah, I don't know. Has anybody got an axe oh. to take that down? Just yeah, I got it. I got something that we could use uh, oh, if yeah. you want to stand back. Oh god. Oh god. Where's the popcorn? Oh wait, I didn't put a thing oh, down. I don't. I don't have any rockets. Never mind. All right, um, I'm, putting, I'm putting a sleeping bag down right there, just in case. I uh, I got some rockets now. Okay. Oh, reload. One second. Jesus. Oh god! Oh, oh my, god. my dude! What Why? the hell? Why did he run straight in front? <laughs> no, I was already coming through that door, and I saw him right there. <laughs> my bad. Oh god! Why are we using? Oh. I found the projection. Pre well, yeah. I hope your uh, projection room. <laughs> I hope your uh, sleeping bag wasn't too far away, Tim. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Thank God we put down sleeping bags. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, these are oh bathrooms. Yeah. So yeah, the hood is completely oh, different. Like we said, we've got like the uh, the four bars and the, the squishy machines, kind of signifying. Well, there, there uh, was something we kind of glossed over. Uh, I, I wanted to cover it since we were at the uh, parking lot, but uh, we're gonna need to get somewhere high because they've introduced some new uh, what they call debuffs. Uh, right. But oddly enough, they also show up in the buffs section in the menu. But yeah, so essentially there's new gameplay or... I'm, I'm literally it? trying to find my fucking way out of this place and I can't see it. Alright guys, we are in creative mode as we usually are with these videos so we can show you exactly what's up. Fucking Jesus, Found the door. Door. Into another one. Found the door. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Alright, I'll do it, I guess. I'll just follow the explosions. <laughs> right. I, I think oh. we found the apartments too. Oh. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh, Actually, this was very lucky. Yeah, it's pretty lucky because you have no idea how big this uh, randomly generated world is. We, just, like, if I just show you my map quick, um, I spawned. It will, uh, it will only show you where you've explored. So I kind of spawned up here in the snow, and I made my way down here. Now this building across the street looks pretty interesting too. Don't jump! I'll blast you off. Hmm. There you go. But yeah, I guess this is the apartment block. Yeah, blow, blow them, blow them barricades off, Keen. I got it. Excuse me. Here we go. Oh yeah. There it is. All right. Let's open the fucking whole building to come tumbling. <laughs> Use wooden door, the top half at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There may be zombies in here, so be careful. Yeah. yeah my game is acting up, so I think there's a lot of them. Somewhere. Oh my god, it's really loud. Is that the oh, this game is a pretty... of the dead. Yeah. This is a nice apartment. This is a nice apartment. This would be a good place to come and live if you have some buddies. Jesus. Where are they? It sounds like they're like above the floor. There, there are mean, many floors. Yeah, there's many <laughs> floors. Let's work our way to the rooftops. God, Let's I feel go. like I'm in the raid or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll find some drug dealers. Oh man, there's more barricades. I'm just going to jump them. 
Judge Dredd. I may die here. I, I think I might have found them or something. At least I'm they're trash in the stairwell. Come on, people. I've got to say that I've been looking forward to random generation for a long time. I don't know. What the, hold on, guys. Let me just interrupt my little uh, speech. I've got to like to the top floor, and the stairs literally just go into nothing. Like, I can't even explain it. You literally walk into the roof. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm slowly making my way up. Wow, this is a lot taller taller than I thought it was. Oh, wait! Look, the fucking stairs. Don't go. <laughs> look, I don't get that. Why not just put a wall? There? <laughs> not even any roof access. <laughs> oh, there is. There's a little. There's an elevator. There's like a space. Oh my god. There's a ladder. And you can actually fall all the way down there. I don't want to risk that. Can you go up there? Oh, oh my god, that was scary as fuck. Oh, I found him. It's a, right. Oh, it's a spitter zombie, watch out. I'm up guys, I'm up on the roof. Oh, he, uh... I made it. That was scary as fuck. Yeah, but... <laughs> Jesus, I'm, I'm actually lagging a little bit. I think there's like a lot of zombies down there. Yeah, yeah I'm getting some frame drops too. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's a skylight. Yeah, I'm shooting through the skylights. Why does that sound like a song? A Celine Dion song? Oh my god, fucking giant wasp! He just flew into Whoa. the skylight! Oh, he's coming after me! My house. Oh, dude, nice <laughs> shot. I paid many honeys for that. <laughs> I, love the, uh, I love the tower we've got going on here. It's, uh, oh. set, set stuff. It's like a TV tower. This, this doubles as like a news station. <laughs> Apparently. Right. We, should, so we should go down a couple of floors and uh, showcase the new debuffs on the uh, yeah, let's do on that. The, uh, the broken legs. Oh, when you say a couple, of, yeah, let's just go all the way down. Yeah, because I think the fall might kill you. <laughs> yeah, the floor the f that will kill me. I'm trying my hardest not to. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> just let go of the keyboard, guys. Just let it. Just let it happen. Let it go. <laughs> There we are, we're down. Alright, actually, that. There oh we go. god, someone oh, fell oh, and someone hurt. Broke legs. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> Kevin? Yep. Yeah, that was Kevin. Right. <laughs> well, I, was gonna, I was gonna suggest Joe do it just so we could see the HUD. So, uh, pretty much like uh, getting sick and whatnot, there's a new debuff called the Broken Leg. Or Alright, well, let's broken do Broken Leg is a new debuff. If I pull down a thing there, right? And I can click. Do I have to click that now? No, it's just gonna spawn me there, right? Yeah. yeah. Now. If I bring some blocks out, let's go for the green kitchen time. Often better oh, hey, fan. Before you guys forget, don't for, don't forget to let's, let's point out the fact that there are now painted lines on the roads. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, look at these that guys. Was a very, that was a them. very important addition. Yeah. Anyway, back back to uh. How many Joe blocks? Up, how, how many blocks do you think I need? Uh, maybe a few more. Yeah. Oh god, this is gonna. Yeah. Right. So there, 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 yeah. Why don't you jump and let's see how badly you get damaged. Alright, this should be fun. Fuck it! I regret nothing! Oh! oh. oh wow. There's a broken bone. Yeah, right. it, it snapped. Sound. It snapped. <laughs> and I can't so, yeah. run. I can't sprint, so... Yeah, so the debuffs on broken legs are like... I think a broken leg is like 60%... Uh, what was it? Like, yeah. Uh, you lose 60% of your running speed or something like that. Right. Uh, and... What? Okay, Kevin just yeah, took don't the easy worry. way out. Um, I'll be right back. So, uh, yeah, so what you can do is you can a uh, you can use a splint and you'll get some of that speed back. Right. But as far as I can tell, you cannot fully heal a leg um, without waiting out the day the day periods, which I yeah. think is three days it takes to um, heal your broken leg. So uh, basically, so break your leg. You can kind of make it temporarily a little bit better by using a splint. But to get it fully recovered, you have to wait three in-game days. Yes. Right. <clears throat> and I do think you can sprain your le uh, legs or whatever, and that's just the... Uh, much... Does anyone, does anyone know how to actually make a splint? Uh, oh. Well, the, the good thing is, nowadays they have all the recipes in the uh, crafting menu, so... Right. You can more or less just search for it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a new feature. You can search the, uh, the list. Yeah, so here, look, I can actually see it. So if I type in splint... Doesn't come up. What the hell? Uh, 
Will it just not show up or? Maybe it's called something else? <laughs> Let's just search. I can't, uh, I can't search anything. I'm typing and nothing comes up. Does it have to be in the right category or something? Um. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it does. Oh, really? I just typed in scrap and that didn't even show me. Um, you, have to, you have to click on the side, on the sidebar. So oh. it's probably under medicine. Splint. Yeah, it's under medicine. Oh, yeah. Search so splint. Oh, that's ah, pretty yeah. simple. Here it is. Oh, it actually shows you what you need. It actually comes up and tells you exactly what you need. Yeah. So you need sticks and cloth, basically. So. Yeah. Thank oh, God yeah. it's a simple recipe, because I'm sure uh, a lot of people are going to accidentally break their legs on the, the new terrain. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. But because we're in creative mode for the sake of this video, I'm just going to make it myself right now rather than... I couldn't spawn in the eyes of being creative. Just for the sake of showing you the system. It's pretty weird at it. This actually actually shows you the recipes now. I mean, this is pretty big, really, when you think about it. Yeah. And there it is. I think, so. I think they introduced that in like 8 point something. So it, it was introduced uh, in the previous update. Yeah. I don't think they ever just covered it. <laughs> Alright, craft that. There it is. I've got my splint. Get out the eye. Now let's select this. And uh, will that symbol change? Apparently not. <laughs> oh, maybe it has. Maybe it's got. I think it, it has. Should, it should. It's yeah, it got should, like it a should. little plaster in the middle. Yeah, so what, what's also new is actually what you can show them, Joe, is um, there's two tips now for everything. So oh, yeah. I guess if you look at the splint. If you hover over it, it, or I don't know, whatever, hover over your effects, for example, uh, in your uh, inventory, or wait, oh, yeah, yeah, so if your I character click, inventory, you can actually, if you click like, yeah, if you click, if you click your map or your inventory, you can actually scroll to the left and click by like, hover over the icon on the left. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, no, in your in in, in, in your inventory, right? Uh, your crafting thingy. Uh, oh, yeah. If you click character, it shows you shows you your buffs. All oh, right, yeah. And that's where you'll uh, if you hover over those, it'll tell you all the effects for uh, what you're currently going through. Yeah, you, you can actually do this. You can actually do that without going into your character screen by hovering over the little icon on the left of your screen, like it's oh, telling me okay. I've got I've got like a re-injured leg. Apparently, the duration is going to be 12 game hours. Wow, I'm fucked. Time left 11.8 <laughs> game hours. And what it modifies are my movement speed has been decreased by 40 percent. Oh. So, yeah, looks like I'm fucked. <laughs> Especially because some of the new options for in-game time have been up to like four hours for a day. So if you go yeah. to a server that's like four hours like in-game daytime, you're probably going to be waiting a long last time to get here. So just, so just for the sake of you not spending the rest of this video uh, with a broken leg, yeah. why don't you go and kill yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as dark as that sounds. But... The interesting thing is, you can no longer just suicide. Yeah, there's no suicide. Uh, you haven't been a suicide bomb for the yeah. last update. So, I mean, you could be boring and just end it quick by, like, jumping off a building. Or, you could go out like an extreme, like, awesome guy and just eat glass. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> so, there we go. Yeah. Bon appetit. I'm bleeding internally. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that, is, that is a painful well. way to go. <laughs> I guess your stomach bursted. <laughs> yeah, that did not that did not feel good. I've got to admit. <laughs> Who needs a suicide button? But yeah, you've also got these little like new screens here, and it kind of tells you a few tips when you're kind of going into a server or dying a painful glass death. But yeah, here we are. And, nice. and while on the subject of glass, actually, finally, for freaking ever, we have been asking why this is a thing. But finally, when you consume a jarred uh, liquid, thank you for shooting. Do not alert, alert zombies, please. <laughs> when you finally consume something in a jar, you actually get the jar back. So yeah. no longer are you eating jars, I guess. Which and was I, uh, how long have we been going on about that feature? Like? Yeah. So it's finally nice to see that we're no longer eating an entire jar when we drink a couple of sips of water. Yeah. Uh, so that's nice. Nearly eight glasses out of drinking water, there, guys. Remember, move glass from your fucking hot bar. Jesus. That was close, but yeah, there's yeah. the there's the glass jar at least anyway. But I just want to do a little bit more of exploration, man. Let's just head out into the wilderness and uh, yeah. take a look at the randomly generated world because from what I saw when we was kind of trying to find each other, there's a lot of kind of hills and like 
it is really random. I, I, actually, I actually was quite impressed, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, actually, there was one more thing I wanted to cover. Uh, I was going through like a, a mode of transitions there. But speaking of consuming things, <laughs> if you consume enough dirty water, you're now going to get dysentery. And oh, really? Yeah. So uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, drink some murky water for us, oh, Joe? Dirty. What is the actual title of the water? Is it? Um, I think I think it's called murky water. I've got it. Yeah. Bottle of murky, murky water. Yeah, there it is. All right. So I, I don't actually know what dysentery is. Um, I assume it's like getting sick. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. Drink. Oh wait. What the fuck is? <laughs> oh, what what pleasant sounds? Okay. <laughs> There's also a random icon that's appeared on the left side of my screen, and it looks like yep. a, an ass it's taking a, a massive dump. Yep, it's a pooping butt. Stay classy, fun pimps. <laughs> Alright, everyone, well everyone be quiet for a second. Let me just. I just want to. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you probably have these uh, little growling sound effects. Yeah. So, so I, dysentery. I shit is, my pants. Is, so, yeah, before I think dysentery just gave you debuffs, like random, like, I think, I, I don't remember what they were, but uh, yeah. So now it's like a full on sickness that you need to take antibiotics for. Oh, really? Is, uh, that, is that what kills it? Uh, yeah. I think there was another way to get rid of it, but yeah, antibiotics, uh, uh, antibiotics are probably the way to go. Right. Uh, on <laughs> dysentery. So, I, 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 I'm hoping that that's just the uh, Oregon Trail reference right there. That'd be <laughs> pretty cool. But, uh,. So what exactly um, will happen to me now I've drunk 10 bottles of murky water? Well, is something going to drain in my, on my, like, in my health or something? Or am I just going like, to um, randomly take a shit or throw up? Well, uh, now's actually, a good time to uh, check out your tooltips. Check out, check out the tooltips and see what the, uh, what the effects are. Oh, yeah. The, the, pooping, the pooping butt. <laughs> so if I click on my character, will it tell me? Oh. Oh, yeah, you can, yeah. So, duration is 4,800 seconds. I don't want to calculate that. Time left, 4,700 seconds. And uh, the modifiers are that it reduces one stamina every one second. You ah. feel sick to your stomach and have diarrhea. <laughs> Goldenrod tea may help. Yeah, so, oh yeah, yeah, that's the other way you can get rid of it. So you can either make tea or uh, take antibiotics. Nice. I might have yourself some tea. I hate actually I might say antibiotics. I hate tea in real life, so you know, just for the sake of realism. Which this game obviously is. There we go. You are immune to further infection. You will no longer brown stain your pants. It did not say that, but I kinda wish it did. <laughs> yeah. Uh another thing well there have been a few uh other debuffs that were introduced, such as concussions, which you get from uh, zombies hitting you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which, yeah, which Joe experienced while we were trying to find each other. Um, the other, the other one, it, which, which is another thing that we have been questioning for a long time now, is uh, you can finally drown. Yeah, and, I think uh, we're actually approaching a lake right now. I believe. Yeah. So not only can you drown, but on the upside, there's some new water effects, which are. Uh, pretty cool yeah you know, it's, it's no longer just like static nothingness so, i've never actually drowned in this game before so i'm actually i might put this down yeah. here yeah and uh go and drown myself why not fuck it there's like seven ways to die <laughs> so, so yeah <laughs> oh just... damn <laughs> i think we just found the title oh anyway yeah we're literally just showing you every way wait, to die this is this is shallow water i don't know if this is gonna work oh no it is i, oh, oh, wait, I cannot mind. breathe yeah here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm literally just chilling out. I, like, I do like the underwater effects. I'm actually just going to pop out quick just so I can show you guys the effects of like... There it is. Oh, take a big deep breath and you've got water on your screen. It's looking yeah. pretty cool, man, but I'm going to... So how do I drown? How long do I have to actually stay under here for? Um, I'm not sure. But you will start to feel the effects. Yeah, I'm, un I'm actually drowning. I'm undetected underwater, it seems. <laughs> and I've got a little O2 icon there, but it doesn't seem to be going down. Oi. If you're gonna shoot things, shoot with the crossbow, man. It's quieter. I shot the zombie. Oh, so that, yeah, deer, it, that deer is bouncing on the water. What the hell? Oh, I, I yeah. Just... I'm starting to choke. I think. Oh, yeah. It's a Jesus oh. deer. Ooh, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing yeah. you. Is gasping it, is for it, is air. It, is the bubbles coming? Oh, no bubbles, but oh, the sounds are terrible. Oh god, yeah. there's blood on my screen. Uh oh. I'm making gulping sounds. Oh my god, this is not good. She's gonna blow! Oh, oh, oh man! Blood just oh, exploded from me. 
that sound effect. Oh. Who said drowning is painless? Fuck. <laughs> I just exploded into a pile of dirt. Yeah, there Good it word. is. That's drowning, guys. <laughs> and on that note, I guess we'll head into this uh, randomly generated forest over here. It's looking pretty sweet. Yeah. I do like the look even underwater. Like, look at the, look at this like randomly generated like surface terrain. It's pretty pretty cool. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed with your uh, your whatever the seed you called this, because the the seed that I spawned, I don't know, uh, it wasn't as extravagant as this. So I'm actually yeah. glad. Like I walked for a while and I didn't see any buildings. That's so I'm really glad that, odd. Yeah, I'm glad that you were able to find like a nice a nice spawn. Then again, you know. Uh, I have really bad luck, so we'll yeah. just chalk it up for that. There's, a, there's actually, but the way the kind of uh, jumping into a game works is completely different now. You've got like a single player game, you can do a multiplayer game, which this is. Oh, oh, Joe, 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 come back, come back. I, I found back. it. I'm back. So I found something new that uh, I was oh, yeah. hoping we would find. Dude, what, is the, what are these flowers? Yeah, so you see these white flowers. Or yeah, that's white what I was just looking at. Yeah. These, this is cotton. So oh, cotton really? is a new thing that has been added to the game, and actually, what you can do with cotton is actually uh, craft it into clothes. Oh, oh. cheerleader! Yeah, because I, I did read the change log. I believe there's like some kind of new armor. Oh, okay, we might have uh, some visitors here. We'll, we'll let the muscle cav take care of those, or we'll have Tim cover him. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Now I'm getting into crossbow too. Make it's sure he make sure he does slow. not die. That's how it works. So, uh, how will I kind of uh, craft this so I can kind of make clothes with this? So, clothes is probably under clothing, so we'll uh, right. see. Cloth, so yeah, cloth gloves. Oh, wait, what? These are. Okay, wait. This is all telling me I need leather. Wait, so is there another cotton? No. <laughs> yeah, this is weird. I've got like cloth pants and things, but. Oh yeah, this is all cloth. So yeah, what what will we use cotton for? Maybe it's to upgrade. Yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe it is. Maybe you need to use cotton to uh, spawn into other things. Yeah. Or I mean, craft into other things. Yeah, that's probably it. Because um, I believe you can find recipes throughout the uh, through the world and stuff. So maybe that's how it works. Yeah, that that could be it. The, you know, blueprints and whatnot. My yeah, menus exactly. are all broken. I can't. Yeah, because if you go to your all items, I believe is like there are new blueprints and things like that. Yeah, iron. There's iron gloves, iron chest armor schematic. Learn how to craft chest armor. So yeah, you're not going to understand how to craft everything straight away from a crafting menu, it seems. But this has been implemented for a while. But uh, now with the new kind of like plants and things like that, I guess, to kind of find and giving you materials you can use for these. Alright, I glitched out my game. I'll bring it back. <laughs> Alright, man. <laughs> but uh, I've got to say, some of the things I'm actually noticing as well with the, the new update is that they seem to be kind of leaning a little bit more to kind of like the survival aspect, because I believe you can use blood bags and med kits now, like they come into play a little bit. Yeah. But um, I'm not entirely sure under what circumstances would you you would use a blood bag? Do you know why? Is it like when you get like mortally wounded and you need help? It's like it's the yeah, only so, way to replenish blood. Man. Yeah, so I mean they added the whole bleeding out aspect uh, in a previous update, and the way that you would usually patch that up was mm. to use a uh, bandage. Um, but I'm guessing what this does now is much more like Daisy. How I think I think yeah. Daisy had it, where you you could take out your own blood and it take some of your health, and then someone can use the blood bag and get health back. I think that's how it works. Right, okay. Alright, uh, you guys have gone? <laughs> uh, I oh. just thought we just up the hill. Alright. So, get so I mean, yeah, we, 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 can, uh, we can try and get to a nice safe spot and uh, start poking ourselves with needles and sharing blood, yeah, so eh? maybe I could eat some glass and someone could patch me up. <laughs> is there a Kev around? Where is he? I, I'm uh, with Kevin. I don't know where you guys went. Oh, uh, just oh track wow. You guys, how did you get so far away from the rest of the group, Kevin? <laughs> I was hunting. Hunting? <laughs> it's not Sweden, Kev. We don't just go to Ikea around here, you know what I mean? I was hunting bodies. That too. 
God, just look at this, man. Look how random. It's, it's so. It's really refreshing. God, some of been playing Navas games for fucking how long now? It's really nice to actually come into a world that you don't. You aren't familiar with. I, I'm really digging this random generation, I've got to say. I'm actually impressed. Yeah, I think this is going to really give a nice pep to us uh, returning to seven days. Yeah. Now man. that we have. Uh, First well, impressions new and unexpected. Yeah, definitely. First impressions are really good, I'd say. I'm actually really digging the, uh, the random generation. Of it, so. um, okay, we found each other. Do you think I can eat uh, glass then, and then you guys can like heal me with a blood bag? Yeah, or, let's try it. Out in the middle you, of the wilderness. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's, just in case I die, guys, can we, can we can try and find a nice scenic moment? Yeah, up here. <laughs> So you can watch the sun <laughs> sunset. Yeah, where's the sun at? Where is that fucking sun? There it is. Right above me, nice. Alright, so how do I injure myself, do you reckon? Best way. Probably eating glass. Unless eating glass is like an immediate death yeah, sentence. I'm not sure. I just kind of forced them down me one after the other. Friendly mm. fire's not. <laughs> yeah. Um hmm. Maybe I can maybe I'll toss a uh, pipe bomb at you. Those don't seem to do much damage. That seems to work. Uh, but first, unless that changed. All right, let me take you out to the pasture. Before <laughs> you do that, let me at least get my house to full. Fuck me. <laughs> gonna hurt me more. It's gonna hurt you. Yeah, I, I might want. I might want to put a sleeping bag down as well. Wait, friendly fire was not on. All right. Oh, I might want, can we can we put your sleeping bag somewhere where they're not going to get exploded by a fucking pipe bomb? There we go. We could just move away from the beds. <laughs> that was my scenic spot, and you stole it with your bed, you fuckers. All right. Oh. There we can go. Can I so, move it? Someone throw a pipe bomb at me whilst Kevin's standing next to me. What? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so Maybe someone's got that. Oh, killed okay. me instantly. <laughs> that, that, was, that was a little too close, I guess. Yeah, I'll, th I'll throw it to the side. Maybe, maybe we should try the glass eating thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Do I have glass? No. Nope. All right. Let's just get the glass in. All right. Has anyone got a blood bag right next to them, like ready to? Yep, yeah, I got it. All right then. Here we go. Get ready. All right. I'm dying painfully. All right. I have okay, taken is... some. Okay. I guess that was an instant kill. Yeah, everything's um, an instant kill. Apparently, damage is on very high. I'll throw a pipe bomb and um, I'll throw it like to the side of you, so you only take some splash damage. All right, do that. I think the last one I threw directly at you. Okay, my gun is like pretty much glitched out. All right, let me get up here. Um, okay. But what the hell? <laughs> A bit too oh. far. <laughs> this is not like a game where you have to. This is like horseshoes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. there we go. I'm not, right. I'm not bleeding now. Hmm. But you do have less health, right? I do, yeah. Alright, so uh, let me give you some blood that I took out. Oh, did oh. you take that from me? Oh, I, took, I took that from me. Oh, okay. I'm down some. I'm down 25% health. Oh, wow. Can you apply? So you're going to be inside Joe now? <laughs> let's, let's not make this weird now. Come on. <laughs> it looks like you're just holding a steak, to be honest. It looks like a giant salmon or something. <laughs> did you, did you, did you yep. consume the... Uh, okay. Well, it looks like you just drank it. It looks like you just ate yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that's, that that's just how it works. Did that replenish your health? Yeah. It should. Oh. oh, so it's pretty much just an alternative to health, then. That sucks. Yeah, since they blood in, from someone else. In well, Daisy, from what you, I, you actually what I believe is you can you can you reuse the blood. Uh, what was it called? The the drawing kit. There we go. You can you reuse the drawing kit over and over again. So as long as you have blood bags, uh, you should be able to. All right, let's make a move, guys. Sacrificing your health. Right. Because I thought friends. I thought it was one of those things where you could only get somebody else to do it for you, but I guess that's not how it works in this game. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta do it to yourself. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, how does the make it work, and is that just another alternative for health as well? Yeah, it's it's just a much more effective um, bandage. Ah, I'm with you. Yeah, makes sense. Alright, man, look at this! I've gotta say, man, this is pretty cool. 
you didn't you didn't really see these kind of like these different kind of shaped terrain in the in Navas game. In like no. the base map at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to see that it's much more than just like okay, we're gonna plop down location A here and location B there. Uh there it's it's much more randomized than uh I expected, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm not entirely sure, like, um, is this endless? Like, I honestly do not know. Or is there a, a, is there wars on this? Yeah, Surely. I guess that's a question. We haven't run into radiation walls, so who knows? <gasps> yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really seeing anything like that. So it could be huge. But, um, yep. I mean, but when you spawn in it, it did, you know, it kind of spawned us all in different locations, so... I don't know how it works. It's really weird. But maybe it is endless, well, maybe it's not, I'm not sure. Yeah, best best case scenario, it's like Minecraft, where there just is no real end. You can just continue to explore. And, yeah. you know, that would actually be the best, you know, for us at least. Yeah, look at this. Because we would never have to reset the map. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. I should go back to the old survival videos where we can just kind of roam around and try and yeah. survive. The best part about this as well, if you wanted to, you could actually build it somewhere you, you like, you know what I mean? Just maybe like build yourself a house. Yeah, Hell. and then if you get tired of it, just go to another part of the, the procedurally generated world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, uh, it's really great to see this in. It's, it's, it's pretty much the... Uh, the most toted feature in this uh, build. Yeah, it's... I, that, I think... I was just going to say that and, and the road lines, obviously. <laughs> yes, definitely. It's, all, all, it's yeah. all about the road lines. But, I um, mean, yeah, it's it's nice to see. I think it's it's come just in time where I think that mm -hmm. uh, people like us who have been playing this since, like, the beginning, pretty much, yeah. um, have felt like we've gotten our fill of Navis gain, so... It's nice to see that the random generation is here and pretty much just in time for uh for people like us. So it's it's nice to uh it's nice to see that it's not just like half half baked. It's like yeah. a, it's a fully realized generation. Um mm -hmm. and you know I'm sure there's still areas that they can improve on, but you know, from what it, for what it is so far, uh it's it's a pleasant surprise. Yeah, I just, look at this. I just love love this like little details here, where you just come across like a little lake, a little pond. Hey, really, really cool. Shower. Yeah. I was hoping to, hope to, hope to find a goddess bathing in there, <laughs> waiting for me. Maybe a in the siren. next. Maybe in the yeah, next. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good night. Okay. We've, we've like been in this the, for a uh, siren update. <laughs> But we've been in this yeah. biome for a while. I mean, look how look how big these biomes stretch for. I mean, fuck. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so I, I like that though. You know, it's, it's uh, really makes it feel like an actual place. Yeah, we saw a small uh, a snow biome too. So yeah, we uh, kind of came from that direction and we started. And, uh, yeah, the way we saw like a wasteland as well, which pretty much looked like a, like a dump site. Like more jagged rocks and like jagged like materials just like plastered all over it. And look, yeah. we've got we've got another one here. Look, another bigger pond. This oh. could be a lake. Big stinky. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, this one's pretty deep. Well, kind of oh. deep. Yeah. But these biomes just const constantly change. You know? I don't think there's any new biomes. I'm pretty sure it's just the existing ones we kind of already had, but. Obviously, just placed in like random ways. Yeah, there. Uh, in terms of static maps, if in case like you wanna continue playing Navis game, yeah. Um, they did add the parking lot, movie uh, theater, and etc. to the Gravestown right uh, yeah. area. So, uh, if you wanna continue playing Navis game, don't worry. <laughs> those new structures are apparently there. So you know. Yeah. Check them out. I don't know. Uh, I guess that that's pretty much wraps it up. It was pretty beefy uh, update. Uh, there was a lot, and I mean a lot of stuff that we just did not get to here because there is just so much that's go that goes into every major update. That, yeah, uh, the change yeah, is pretty extensive. There's no way we could cover it all. <laughs> this video would be ridiculously long. So I mean, you know, 
definitely check it out yourself if you want the the more specific details but uh i don't know final thoughts guys um about alpha 9 um it's okay i i i think it's pretty impressive that the the random world generating is I was I was pretty iffy about the the elimination of the the mini map and replacing it with a compass. Yeah. But after playing around playing around with it a little bit, I uh, I think I can get used to it. Yeah, the the tracking friend feature is really good. Again, yeah. it, it's for you know, I, I don't know one survival game like at least in this genre where it kind of just spawns you right next to your fucking friends and you know the first game that actually does it, I will, you know. Probably yeah, give I will sexual say favors. if there, <laughs> I will say if there is anything that I'm down on, um, because majority of this I think is really good. I think it's a nice, it's a very positive step forward. Um, yeah. I will say, yeah, I I do kind of miss the mini map, if only because of orientation and uh, sort of realizing where I am in the world, uh, you know, versus everything else uh, in the right. vicinity, um. But uh, yeah, so th I missed that, and I also I'm also kind of disappointed that there's still no real sense of like friend system. Like we are all friends, but if we die, we still spawn in like ridiculously random areas. There's no way to just like spawn uh, next to your friends. Um, yeah, you you kind of have to put your own sleeping bags down and things. And yeah, I mean, I guess it plays into the whole survival thing where like yeah, technically you're not gonna be next to your friends, I guess. But yeah. I don't know from a, from a perspective where we like to play co-op and everything. Uh, it would be nice if there was a more option where like spawn next to your friend or something, uh, or I don't know. Yeah. And of course, obviously, and I, I hate to bring it up because you know it's probably never gonna come back, but I still miss horde mode. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, that. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I was like. I think kind of the deathmatch modes like still remain, don't they? Because I saw skirmish in the options, but there's just no horde mode still. And, uh, yeah. We really like that mode. But, um, the random generations. Oh my god, guys, I think we found the new fucking biome. I never thought this river would fucking end, but we did it. You see how long that river is? Let's look at your maps. Yeah. We're just following this river down. I mean, we just out of curiosity to see where it fucking led. And look, we finally made it to a new area. That's like, it's, it's pretty rewarding. It's like really nice. It's like fuck. Yeah, and this it even branches branches out into other this. areas. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look at this fucking little ravine. There's like fucking you can actually see underneath and like see like the surface. And did someone just jump in? Skinny dip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take you close. Oh party. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna fucking okay. hit a rock at mine. No. Break my leg. <laughs> what was funny is. I went down and came back up, and you said, take your clothes off, and my guy sighed. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was one of you guys. <laughs> it's, yeah, I do like the new water effects. You can breathe again. Yeah. I, I kind of yes. like that there's like little splashes that go on the screen. Yeah, It's a nice a little attention nice to detail. Yeah, God, just look how far we fucking traveled that like river down. That's just random, you know? When yeah. you spawn a random generator world... Uh, it's probably going to be a completely different layout. Look, look at this little, look at this wasteland. There's like little pots of water here. Like, look at that. I think that's really cool, man. Yeah, yeah it is. It's really yeah, nice. Really impressed with the random generation. It's been a long time coming. Uh, it's promised in the Kickstarter, for fuck's sake. And uh, <laughs> we've been, I mean, I was covering this game before Keaton even had it, and then he bought it, and we've probably done about 80 odd multiplayer videos of this on just on the channel. Yeah. And, um, finally, we've even we've even inspired some people to buy it themselves. Yeah. yeah. Who who hates us for it now? But uh, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, this random generation will kind of made him forgive us. But. Yeah. So I mean, finally, oh. the one thing I wanted to come back to with the yes. horde mode thingy is, yeah, it's sad to see it go, but you know, obviously they added hordes to the game. So I don't know. In some way, that could be your new horde mode if you want. But and uh. I don't know if you guys know where I'm going with this. So the the final change I wanted to note here is that every seventh day in uh, your survival time, hordes will now get even crazier than normal. So yeah. you got your normal <laughs> horde numbers, and then apparently every seventh day, you get a crazy horde. And, yeah. you know, yeah, every seventh day. 
Yeah. So every seventh day, you could die. Yeah. Uh, oh, I get it now. I get yeah. it. Oh, yeah. it took, oh my it god! It took the nine alpha builds, but uh, they finally fucking have a reason to call this game Seven Days to Die. <laughs> I think that's my favorite thing. Anyone I've seen play this game, they're like, why is it called Seven Days to Die? Do you die in, on the seventh day? Well, now I guess you kind of you have a reason to fear the seventh day. So Yeah, Yay! Pods, pods get crazier on the seventh day. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's just a case of like, difficulty being fucking boosted up or something. Or... It would be good if you kind of got special zombies, you know, like a special freaky weak horde. I don't know. What do you mean, like, I mean, there are sort of special zombies that, like, in the horde mode, uh, it would it would, it would be a few days, but you would start getting a lot more spitter zombies. Hey, we actually, we actually saw spitters in the game earlier today, like, just when we joined this world. Yep. So yeah. they was in from the start. Oh, yeah. wow, look at this. You gotta be careful on this random generated terrain, guys. You could just fall at any second and break your leg, eh, Kevin? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I am, I am curious about how uh, mob generations spawn now, because... I remember back when the spitter was added, or you know, it was added as a cop, and I remember remember the cops would only spawn in the city biome or the areas. Yes. Well, so I'm I'm curious if like now they just spawn anywhere. Yeah, I did see the spitter in the, in the city earlier. I'm not sure if it's uh, yeah. Taunting yeah, there was still. one in the uh, apartment building. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey guys, welcome to my house. You no, know, this really is a wasteland this time. Yeah, look yeah, at this. This is a fucking wasteland. Look at it. It's like a dump. Yeah, and that's what <laughs> I said earlier. Like, like a fucking tip. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I'd do? I... I'd like. It kind of reminds me of something like Fallout. If I was like playing survival yeah. mode in this map right now, I'd probably like yeah, chisel, out, chisel, chisel out a hole in the side. Because look, you've got water. Probably not sanitary water, but you're going to have to boil that fucker up. But You know what I mean? I'd chisel out a hole, maybe cover it with like a fucking toilet or something. Just, just a bucket with a toilet seat on top, like in yeah. Left 4 Dead 2. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I'd do. Oh, finally uh, some zombies here. Yeah. yeah. Kevin's just been itching for something to kill. Yeah, that's pretty much Kevin in a nutshell. But, uh, yeah, you can't... appreciation, we're just gonna... I, I wanna oh. kill something. Yeah, oh, Ooh. there's a fatty down here. But, come on, let's be honest, it's a zombie game. We need something oh. to kill. Okay, stun me, it's stun me. There's a stun, guys. Oh. Um, Concussions. Yeah, I got a concussion. You saw the dizzy symbol on the left. And uh, what does the radioactive symbol mean? Does it mean I'm going to die any second? Then? I don't know. Do I need uh, antibiotics and cheeks? Is this is this yeah, radiation I mean, here? This green no, stuff? It, it was when the uh, no, it was when the it was when the uh, zombie hit me. I think that's just. Oh. I don't think it is radiation. That's just. Uh, oh, that was a damn good headshot. You guys missed it. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I wasn't even looking. I feel bad now. <laughs> Everyone watching this has completely missed it, but I'll I take know. your word for it. Hashtag blame Joe. Yeah. <laughs> it actually looks like we're coming out of like the tip area now and kind of moving into more of like a burnt forest section or something. Uh, the Silent Hill biome. Yeah. yeah. This, this is, is more this like is awesome, the remnants man. of the town. This is, it's so good, like, just playing this with you guys and like just discovering new locations. It's, Whoa, it's dogs! Yeah. <laughs> oh god, it's like Courier Crisis all over again. God, this fucking dog is like. Oh, I think I got him. Crawler. Uh, so yeah, there's a. Oh, well, I'm, I'm fuck actually kind him. of uh, anticipating getting back into this on a on a survival basis, you know, not. Yeah, we could actually play this and uh, just you know, not necessarily setting up a house straight away, but maybe just like nomading it yeah. and just like going yeah, around. Yeah, just, just exploring the world. Yeah. No, no creative mode. Actually, trying to survive, man. <laughs> it's been a long time Whoa coming. Now. Well, I know, I know. <laughs> it's crazy talk. I know. <laughs> yeah, but uh, well, yeah, that's, so. that's pretty much what happened. Did you know? In like recent times, we have played this. It was more fun to put creative mode on because we'd, we'd explored everywhere. You know what I mean? There was nowhere, nowhere to yeah. go. Right. Yeah. There was no new content, so you just kind of had to make. Yeah. Uh, you make your happen. own content, pretty much. Yeah. Build a fucking. <laughs> Uh, waterfall inside of a school and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go watch that video. Build a fucking forest winter cock on the side of the as well. Fuck <laughs> okay. it. But, uh, oh, looks like we've got uh, some more buildings on this side, but there it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll save any more discoveries for a future series uh, of survivals and, and discoveries, you shit. know. So, uh, yeah, yeah we'll, uh, 
I think that's a good place to call it, actually. We've uh, we've covered a lot of stuff, uh, and there's a lot more that we didn't cover. So you should definitely read the full change log for the uh, for the full uh, I don't know change log experience. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it, but yeah, we we covered <laughs> the the main the main I think most of the main features at least that were added in Alpha Nine. Yep. We didn't just do a giant circle, did we? I no, I think actually, so. No, we didn't, because if you look at the map, it's a completely different place. Oh, okay. It's just another city, I guess. With the same buildings. Well, <laughs> yeah, I think each city is going to have the same buildings. That would have been funny, though. We just went in a giant circle. It would have been. So, yeah, funny. after speaking about for 10 minutes how about the new world is bigger, and so he just went in a big ass uh, circle. Yeah, it's going to be pretty funny. If you, if you actually went onto a public server in this mode, You'd, you'll have like different people in different cities, you know what I mean? Oh, damn, dude. Faction wars and everything now. Yeah. Oh. Like fucking Saints Row or like GTA, like territory claiming. Warriors, man. Come on and play. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So many, so many promising things happening. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. I think that's, that's a pretty good place to wrap it up, I think. Yeah, that's it, man. I'm just going to keep on pushing forward and, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, little look at Alpha 9. Uh, really good to see the uh, random generation. And, uh, until our next video guys, I guess uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.